It's a while since we've zapped something in the Presto Hot Dogger. And for those of you who don't know, the Presto Hot Dogger is a device uh, originating from America that you stick hot dogs across these metal spikes. You put the lid on and it applies, in the case of America, 120 volts across the hot dogs and it cooks them electrically by passing current through them. Making them taste a bit odd in the process, but it works well. And Vince the Crew Chief uh, said, what would it be like if you stuck a sausage roll in it? Now, for a start, the voltage we're going to be using today is about 248 volts. Let's just say quarter of a thousand volts, because that's as close to quarter of a thousand volts, 250 volts. And the sausage roll is a classic British delicacy. It probably has other names around the world. But the idea of a sausage roll is that you have flaky pastry surrounding an extruded sausage-like interior. So let's see if we can uh, get this to fit. Do we use two spikes or do we use one spike? I'm not sure if... Uh, I think one spike might be the best. I think we're going to get a better contact here. So let's try and work out how we're going to get this in. I shall slice a bit off both ends. Hold on. I shall slice a bit off like this. Mmm. Oh, look at that. Sausagey goodness. Um, and let's see how's that going to go. It's going to go over to there. That's not bad. I shall slice a little bit off this one. That will expose some fresh sausage. I'm not sure how well this is going to work because normally with the hot dogger, it relies on the salty goodness of a hot dog and the moistness and this just basically water and salt. This is not very... I, I've just snapped the sausage roll in half. This is all going wrong so far. I think it's just a puff pastry. No, I, I might have to squish the sausagey bit together. Uh, this is this is all going wrong. Tell you what, let's just jam bits in everywhere then, uh, and bridge it across and see what happens. See, mm, 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 mm. Just eat stuff off my unhygienic bench. So here's the way it works. We've got the spikes here that are going to pass the electrical current through. I'm a bit concerned about my broken sausage now. And when you put the lid on, it's got two connections at the end here, and that's it. It's just going to put mains across that. So where is the lid? For those of you concerned in previous videos about safety, the mains connections are completely sealed in here. They are a sort of recessed connector, so you can't get a shock off this unless it's soaking wet. Let's put the lid on and see if this is going to be interesting or a terrible disappointment. So here's the hoppy quick test. And we'll plug it in and see what current we get. Oh, we're getting about 100 watts. 126, 134 watts. Oh, and there's vapour. Oh, it is actually passing current. Uh, the power is still about it's about 100 watts. It's going down now. It's not very exciting. There is vapour. It's making hissing noises. Uh, it's yoing up and down about, uh, it's actually, oh, it's gone down 10 watts. I, I get the feeling that it has, the sausage roll has malfunctioned at the point of uh, where it, it snapped. It's down to about 6 watts. Tell you what, let's unplug it and interfere with the sausage roll and we'll see what's happening in here. So it's, uh, mm, it's full of sausage goodness. It has kind of, uh, it's kind of been violated here. This is not good. This is not good at all. Tell you what, I know what to do. Let's get a bit of copper wire and repair the sausage roll. That's what we want to do. So uh, we'll just get a bit of copper wire like this and stuff it in there and stuff it down. Well, let's just tell you what, let's just wrap it around one of the connections. Is this a good idea? No, it's not a good idea. Am I going to do it anyway? Yeah. Okay, so that goes in. This is not being done professionally. It's an unprofessional sausage molestation. Uh, just give me a second here. I'm just trying to get. Uh, I'm trying to get a good connection in my sausage roll here. The the fact that these are uh, uh, pointy spikes doesn't really help that much. Hold on. Let's try this. Oh, it's really not. Hold on. I'll just squish this closed a bit more. Stuff it over there. Wedge it into the sausage meat, which is very crumbly and flaky. To the fact there's not much meat in it. Uh, we'll try that. We'll try that, but I'm not really holding my breath here, apart from the smell of burning sausage roll. Let's plug it in. It's making fizzing popping noises. We're up to... Oh, we're, we're up to 400 watts there. I think 
the sausage roll may be dying in here. It is, it's sparking and flashing and making barping noises. Okay, the current peaked, it went up to about 400 watts briefly, dropped to 200, it's now just down to, oh, no, no, little bursts of action again. It's now down to an average of about 5 watts, right? Tell you what, I think that's about all we're going to get. Let's test the sausage roll for electro yumminess. Mmm. Oh, no, that stinks. It's almost as bad as the sausage itself. Ugh. The puff pastry is cold. The meat is kind of burnt. Hints of copper in there. People say you shouldn't really eat the copper. Uh, let's just uh, get this stump. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It's warm. Mmm. Mmm. How about this bit? I've actually just eaten all that sausage. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. It tastes a bit burnt. It's mainly cold, but you can eat a sausage roll cold. Mmm. Yeah, so it's not super conductive, mainly because it's quite brittle and it snapped when I put it in. That's annoying. I should get more sausage rolls. Maybe I will get more sausage rolls, ones that are optimised for fitting in here. I guess that the main takeaway from this takeaway snacks, is that hot dogs are much more flexible than sausage rolls. But yes, it was well worth doing anyway, and I got to eat a sausage roll.